Welcome to Chemical Pursuits. Select the training room to learn how to use the program, or select the sight screen icon to enter the program. No, no, honey. Nothing's going to spoil our plans. This is an example of a sight uh -huh. screen. That's right, Ellie. Select the I, file I tabs right above or the icons below to learn Don't more worry, about darling, what they I've are. Got someone to cover for me. Honest. The background Look, the file explains hour, the problem you've been asked to investigate. Oh, I do, dear. Oops, the question file contains questions Hi, you Jimmy can Joe investigate. Johnson, president of you can pick one question call me or all of them. Now, I own one the of resources the file shows you around, where to look for information. For to for me while I'm away on my honeymoon. Now, hold the data on. file helps know, you investigate a question by suggesting ways to collect data. To step into my boots and make your mark in the oil business. The reports file helps you At summarize your time, findings when you're through investigating. And who knows, you might get rich. This is the experts' icon. The, oil than it the out experts the will help it. focus on important now, parts of the problem at the site. From jet fuel to cosmetics to three-piece polyester suits. This is the refinery that, tour though, icon. You have to know a little chemistry. When you select this icon, you can tour JJ's oil hard. refinery. Trust me, you can do it, and you could get rich This is the research good. icon. Good. In the research <laughs> activity, you can gather information to help you answer questions. I'm leaving you in charge. Certain, this is the reference icon. Uh, Luann, Here you can find online resources to assist your investigation. Honeymoon? How did you get married again? This you is the background movie LA icon. Background movies give no, information about the situation at the site. The honeymoon's a little late. Five years. Ha. This is a well, hotspot marker. A little matter that's more By selecting a hotspot, you can learn more about the site. You out and take over Bull Oil. This is Again, Chemical Pursuit's main menu icon. Uh, From the main menu, you can get training or go to the Petroleum site to begin company. your investigation. She keeps trying to buy me out and take over bull oil. She doesn't Here know you can find copyright information about the we program. We keep showing a profit, so you can't take us over this month, Luann. From a list of helps, you can select oh, ones that will assist you up. with the material. <laughs> Not according to. Here you will find out who developed the program. This allows you to ah, leave the program. I've got you this time. Um, this this takes you now. to the Videopedia. I said not Here now. you can look up words and oh. ideas that are unfamiliar. Oh, this is last year's projection. This takes you to the main menu screen. Why From the main menu, before? you can get training well, or JJ, go to the site lucky. to begin your investigation. But remember what Luann wants. This Luann turns gets. the narration on and off. A check mark shows that yes, narration so well is on. I know. With people like Luann around, you can see With how this important tool, it is you to keep play, making a profit. Change, rearrange, and add caption cards to your media clip. Yes. Oh, hi, Ellie Mae. This yes, turns the grabber here. on Honest and off. A yes, check mark shows that the grabber is yes, on. Going to fill it for the me. grabber allows you to create okay, your own right media now. clip Bye. from stills or video Look, segments. I'm off. Now, if you learn the chemistry, the job of operating my Selecting oil an icon will be a breeze. And then choosing now, open worry, you're pretty is the same as double clicking on an icon. the whole enchilada. Just the important stuff. This is it, my oil refinery. From here, you can learn how it works and explore all aspects and remember, of oil refinery. You have a problem? Use the files at the top of the screen. And you can always call help on get me. you organized. Hey, good luck. Pick any of learn the icons stuff, on the screen, and, let's and make you'll some get money. important information that'll help you. Because if you good don't, luck. this background file information is Howdy. a written summary you know, of the background oil movie. Is funny stuff. You may find it convenient Sometimes to refer to during your investigation. Gooey. Other times. It's thin and almost Select watery. a question you would like the to investigate. Of then keep that question in your viscosity. mind as you go through the program. The viscosity of any by answering these questions, by you will begin to understand carbon-based chemistry. Like the one in this viscometer. The thicker the liquid, by answering the these additional takes. focus questions, this oil you will be able to seconds. discover many ways it's to analyze the question you have chosen. This oil flows slowly to discover which resources will help in your investigation. Molecules. Making Select a question viscous. you want to investigate. Viscosity is a useful test because it tells me Go a lot to these resources the listed on the screen for help in answering oil the question you have chosen. Places in the world has different Select the question you would molecules. like to investigate. Here's Here you will find out where you can record Saudi the Arabia. data you have collected Notice during your the investigation. Size of the molecules. Now, here's Mexican to help crude. you with your investigation of this question, the Saudi put the data you have collected the in the data section of your chemical what kinds pursuits of log. Products can be made from the oil. The Saudi crude Here are some for suggestions gasoline, for your final while report. The, Mexican crude is best the media for clip can asphalt. be done on the computer. 
The other reports can be done on your own. An oil refinery separates crude oil into Select groups an expert of similar molecules for more information called about carbon chemistry and it's oil refining. It's much the same way this gravel is sorted by size. Select an area crude of interest. Crude oil is a mixture of carbon molecules of various sizes, similar to this gravel. Oil is separated by boiling it in a fractionating column. JJ here. Notice oh, what happens to the various sizes hey, of molecules Bubba, as they down rise the up the column. I got a phone call. This process is called fractional Let's distillation. See. How are organic substances this alike? This Mexican crude well, contains a lot have of large atoms, molecules. And they all These bond molecules together can be the broken into smaller, more Mostly in long chains, like this here Thermal conga dance we're doing. It by Come on, JJ, let's to a high temperature. I hope that helps. Gotta Sometimes go. a chemical called a catalyst is used to help break up large molecules. When a catalyst is used, we call it catalytic cracking. An added benefit of cracking crude oil is sometimes Hi, it increases how the volume doing? of refined products. We're getting products ready to here. go to a party at Sheikh Abdul's palace here Some in Bahrain. Some crudes contain a Got large a amount of small Great. molecules. Far away. Molecules what processes with one to four are involved in refining oil? Petroleum gas well, and imagine methane, that's your first day on the job at a pearl necklace and factory. Butane. And your job is to sort them out the size. And butane you get to sort out all the short ones fuel. from all the long ones. Or we can Let's say there's the a big demand for short necklaces. Together to form so large you've got molecules. to take all the longest ones, this break them apart, and make short ones. It's the same at the refinery. First, we separate the different sizes of carbon molecules, and then we build them up or break them down to get the size we need. You get it? We end up with less product. For every barrel of liquid propane, we might get less than a barrel of gasoline. Time to tackle a big question. My job is to develop new plastic and synthetic materials. These materials are often made by a process called polymerization. In this process. Small Hi there, organic how are you? We're having a great time, deep sea fishing off the Mexican coast. Got a question? Polymers. Shoot. This can happen how are synthetic materials made? Well, whoops, wait, I think I got one. Look at that fish jump out of the water. Oh, well, this fishing line is nylon, and it's made from petroleum. Chains with many different now, nylon has lots of identical no carbon molecules called monomers linked together in long strands. It's very strong. Some Hold on to me, Ellie Mae. I think this fish is going to catch me. Stockings. Talk to you later. Saran for plastic wrap, Teflon for nonstick cookware, and polyester for clothing. Hi, Ellie Mae and I are in the Swiss Alps skiing. Right We're up now. pretty high. Plastics I've never done anything like this before. Don't rust, now, what's up? But that might be how could you find out problems. more about how As organic trash, substances are alike? Well, let's this see. Piece of iron will Don't rust you push me, Ellie Mae. So. Organic substances. This plastic Don't. beverage container uh, uh, will last uh, hundreds of years. Uh, uh, dusty platform. Some plastics uh, can be made to decompose in the environment. Other plastic products can be recycled. By recycling, we can cut down on the amount of plastic trash we produce. My job is to find Chez oil. Paris. But where does oil come from? Johnson. There are several I'm theories. Over. But Hello, the one most generally is accepted is that oh, oil formed from a prehistoric question? plants and animals well, that died millions what of years ago. What processes are involved in refining Over oil? Over time, they were covered one with second. sediment and buried deep uh, within the here earth. Comes our dinner. These plants What's and this? animals remain and contain a lot Big of carbon and hydrogen. Our dinner. Over millions Let's of years, uh, these two elements were transformed into hydrocarbons that dinner, make up petroleum. We've got problems. Hello, still there? It is my job to find out where these plants and animals might be. This is dinner. What's for dessert? As an environmental specialist at this refinery, it's my job to make sure that we don't disturb the environment uh, any more hello, than uh, JJ absolutely here. necessary. Well, do you have any idea what time it is here in Pago Pago? Oh, Every you're day stuck. I test the water. Well, look, why don't you go to the refinery to and talk sure to Polly, no our chemist? She's probably more awake than I am now. Good night. What appears to be smoke coming from those stacks is actually steam. We monitor that discharge also to make sure we aren't polluting the air. You can reduce pollution, too. Turning off lights, setting the heat lower, carpooling, and reminding others to do these things reduces the amount of Here you can used. find copyright Every information about the program. Every gallon of gas or oil burned produces many this saves your data. of carbon dioxide. You can use save to this store your data when doing research. And heats up the Earth's atmosphere. This takes you to the you know, videopedia. Here you can look up words or ideas that are unfamiliar. Selecting an icon, then choosing open, is the same the as double-clicking on an icon. Still in it, the sulfur would combine with oxygen to form this creates sulfur a new dioxide. File. You sulfur can use new to create files to save your data when doing research. Sulfuric acid. This takes you rains, to the moleculary, the guide to molecules. It's difficult and expensive to get all the sulfur out of oil. 
But the damage caused by acid rain is expensive too. The destruction of this forest was caused by acid rain. Some kinds of atoms by themselves are highly reactive. You can see this when phosphorus is allowed to react with oxygen in the air. Reactivity is related to the tendency of atoms to become more stable. This diagram shows a stable atom. Notice that it has eight electrons in its outer orbital. A few types of atoms have this arrangement. Some atoms can share electrons with other atoms to achieve this stable relationship. This sharing of electrons creates a bond called a covalent bond. Carbon atoms, because they have four outer electrons, can bond easily with other atoms and become stable by sharing electrons. So each has eight electrons in the outer orbital. Carbon atoms most readily bond with hydrogen and other carbons. In the process, long carbon chains and rings are formed. Oil is a mixture of these chains of carbon and hydrogen called hydrocarbons. The shape and structure of these chains or rings determines the kind of product we get from the oil. Covalent bonds are strong, but can be broken by heat or a catalyst. Our supply of oil is limited, and someday we may run out. For this reason, engineers and designers are developing ways to take advantage of renewable energy sources, such as the Welcome sun and wind. Welcome to the Bull wind. Oil Crude Receiving Depot. This relatively you will be able to run five loads of crude oil through the refinery. The sun and store it Select as a crude water. to refine a and a season like to discover which products are in demand. Water heater in the average Once you home. have made your choices, select the forward the arrow. The solar cells on this bus stop turn the sun's energy Welcome into electricity. Welcome to the Bull Oil Crude Receiving Depot. This electricity Depot. is stored in a battery to light the bus stop of crude at night. Oil through the refinery. Solar cell technology Select like a crude this to refine still in the early and a season to discover which products are in demand. In California, Once this you have made your choices, select the forward a regular arrow. flow of electricity to a neighboring city. Welcome to the Bull Oil Crude Individually, Receiving Depot. These new technologies you will be able to run aren't three enough, loads of crude oil together through the with refinery. conservation, they select can help a crude preserve to our precious supply of oil. And a season to discover which products are in demand. You're doing such a great job. Once you have made your choices, you select the forward arrow. This your little house. To operate the refinery, select the different valves Here's to control the refining processes. Once refining airplane, is complete, you never can tell select you the ledger to icon to like determine whether you to made a profit party. or a loss. Come in, Ellie Mae. To operate the refinery, select the different valves to control the refining processes. Once you know, refining so is complete, about the job you do in select the, the forward business. arrow to determine to whether you, you made present. a profit Something or a loss. Something every oil millionaire should have. And listen to the horn. <laughs> Now you can do the viscosity like test. Select a crew, uh, it's great to be back from then vacation. time how long it to takes to go work. through the viscometer. Then compare that Funny. time to What's the viscosity crew times found in the lab guide. Oh, from the guide, you will be able to determine the kind of crude it is and the percentage of light, medium, uh, and JJ, heavy hydrocarbons it contains. The rolls later? Take and a tour of the oil refinery and learn about the oil the refining processes. Out. Select a point on the fractionating column to discover what products come from that particular fraction. Well, it ain't the oil business. In operating but it's a the living. cracker, you can learn how large hydrocarbon molecules are broken up into smaller ones to create different petroleum products. Select either fraction to crack. Crude oil, then adjust or temperature unrefined petroleum or add a catalyst. is found underground in large reservoirs beneath layers it's a big of question. sedimentary rock. When do you crack the fraction? It is prevented and when from do you coming to the it? surface. Well, let's by get a back layer of basics. impervious what rock are you trying that to make? the reservoir. Oil is retrieved the right by drilling the into job, these underground oil reservoirs. I think you need to learn more about how to take advantage of crude the refinery process. Crude is found process. all over the world, from the deserts of the Middle well, East that's pretty good, to but the north slope to take a look of Alaska, at the cracking activity. to the Gulf of Mexico. Crude oil You're doing from pretty different good, parts of the world I think you should find out more about alkylation and what it does. North Sea crude is low in sulfur and offers a wide range of products. Empire crude from the Gulf Coast is Ooh, a low sulfur smart. crude good for gasoline. I guess we all have to learn from our mistakes. Australian Maybe you crude should learn about the light, cracking and alkylation processes and then give it another try. Arabian light from Saudi Arabia, well, although I'll be high in sulfur, is excellent Keep for this gasoline up and, and fuel oil. I'll just extend my honeymoon. Mayan crude from Mexico Boy, is a very sure thick crude, ideal run, for asphalt. Except it's summertime. With modern You're refining learning. techniques, 
it is possible to produce Good a job. wide variety You're of You're becoming a valuable asset crude. to Bull Oil. Now you just keep it up. So you didn't make a lot of money that time. Hey, that's okay. But do me a favor and take a minute and go see Chester Crude. He'll give you some insight into cracking oil. Now we can always use gasoline in the winter time, but what we sell a lot of is fuel oil. You're doing such a great job. When I get back, you're going to be the new general manager of the refinery. Ouch! I think it's time you learn about cracking oil. Win a little, lose a little. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all part of the big picture. Give it another try. Ooh, when to crack and when not to crack, that is the question. You got the processes right. But Many is it of the, the right important crude? products and raw materials that we use every day well, maybe come you'd from do the oil a refinery. If you saw Chester crude the refinery about breaks crude oil down or builds it up into different products, such as gasoline and diesel for cars and trucks, jet fuel for airplanes, fuel oil for power plants, asphalt for roads, coke for powering ships and manufacturing steel, LP gas for home heating and cooking, and the petrochemicals for plastics, synthetic fibers, fertilizers, and cosmetics. From this fraction, we get gas for cooking and heating, and the raw materials for plastics, synthetic fibers, fertilizers, cosmetics, and more. From this fraction come gasoline and light oils, and kerosene for jet fuels. From this fraction come wax for candles, soaps and detergents, and motor oils. From this fraction come fuel oil for power plants and asphalt for roads. From the bottom fraction comes coke for powering ships and manufacturing steel. Crude oil is a mixture of different size molecules called hydrocarbons. The fractionating column sorts these hydrocarbons into different parts or fractions. First, the oil is heated until it boils and is changed into a gaseous state. Then, as a gas, it rises up the fractionating column. But what happens to the gas as it reaches the vapor caps? How do these caps assist in the fractionating process? Which molecules stay near the bottom, and which ones go to the top? Alkylation, the alkylation is a process, process in which catalyst is used to join together certain small organic together molecules to, to make larger ones. molecules by using a catalyst. With alkylation, the refinery can transform lighter products into heavier, more valuable ones, such as gasoline and aviation fuels. The heavier fractions of oil, such as asphalt or fuel oil, can be changed into lighter products using a process called cracking. By applying Cracking heat is a process or adding used a catalyst, to break large such organic as molecules silicate, into smaller ones. Large hydrocarbon molecules can be broken into smaller hydrocarbons. This way, crude can be made into a variety of petroleum products. Using the cracking process, a refinery can change one product, such as heavy fuel oil, into something more valuable, like gasoline. Dark. How can they still be showing a profit? Leo, you've got to help me get my hands on bull oil. I could be a major force in petrochemicals. What's the big deal about petrochemicals? Big deal? Petrochemicals are my life. You would be amazed at all the things that come from petrochemicals. Look around. Imagine a world without them. As your lawyer, I'm not paid to be imaginative. You know, Leo, I've been trying to figure out just what I do pay you for. Okay, let's play a little game. Imagine the world without all the things that come from petroleum. Let's start with your desk. <laughs> Very imaginative, Luann. All right. <laughs> what about your beauty aids? Very funny, Leo. Oh, I had no idea. 
My, my, how about this splendid office of yours? All right, all right, enough. I get the point. Without petrochemicals, this place would be a dump. Did you say dump? <laughs> Touché, Leo. But you wouldn't be the same in a world without polyester. No, Luann, please, no. No, please, no. Two can play at that game. Oh, forget it, Leo. My designer, Monsieur Toto, dresses me only in 100% silk. And that wraps up another edition of Mix and Match. Today's prize is provided by these folks. Chow Chow Pet Boutique. Of now, Redondo once Beach. again, Big it's time to play America's show. favorite game Diving show, pictures. Mix and Match. And Here's America's favorite game show host, Bob Snigley. Mr. Snigley's wardrobe provided by La Hi, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Mix and Match, the game show where you match up what's behind the towel and win fabulous prizes. Ethylene monomers link together in sheets to form the polymer polyethylene. Polyethylene is used for making plastic beverage bottles. A match! You win a lifetime supply of plastic bottles from another person's lifetime. Congratulations! Vinyl chloride monomers, when linked together in sheets, create the polymer polyvinyl chloride, more commonly known as PVC. Polyvinyl chloride is used to make phonograph records. And you'll be the proud owner of the best of Pinky Whitmire and his magic accordion. And since they couldn't sell this record on television, it's yours. All 10,000 copies. Tetrafluoroethylene monomers linked together in sheets form the polymer Teflon. And Bob, Teflon is used for nonstick cookware. And what a match. You're going to love helping in the kitchen with this complete set of easy-to-clean, non-stick cookware. Acrylonitrile monomers, linked together in long chains, form acrylic fiber. This is a textile fiber used for making sweaters. Dazzle your friends and show off your pet with sportswear from Chow Chow's Pet Boutique of Redondo Beach. A real bow wow. Wow. Styrene monomers link together in sheets to form the polymer polystyrene. Polystyrene is turned to foam with a gas to make styrofoam products such as cups and coolers. Here's a chance for you and 50 of your close special friends to view a special premiere of the styrofoam cooler that ate New York. Ethylene glycol monomers link together in sheets to create the polymer mylar. Mylar is a thin film that is incredibly strong and has a wide variety of uses. A match you're sure to use. You'll enjoy our large Mylar trash bags to lug all this trash summing prizes from the show. Vinyl fluoride monomers, when linked together in sheets, create polyvinyl fluoride, used as a durable surface coating. Bob, polyvinyl fluoride is used to coat wire and electronic parts. And you and your friends will love hanging out in your closet with this lifetime supply of coated wire coat hangers. Isobutylene monomers linked together in sheets create the polymer polyisobutylene. This polymer is used for making inner tubes. It's the vacation match. You want a tube trip down any alligator infested river of your choice in Florida. And just in case you spring a leak, We'll throw in a rust-proof bicycle pump. Congratulations! Methyl methacrylate monomers, linked together in sheets, make the polymer polymethyl methacrylate. This polymer is plexiglass, a hard plastic with many uses. And with this match, we have a special gift. 
your own salad bar. With hygienic plexiglass sneeze guards. Congratulations. They can't bond properly. These molecules cannot form a polymer. Sorry. You're in the video when a liquid boils. All items it are changes grouped from from the liquid phase to the Select vapor the phase. appropriate book for the, the term heated you're atoms or molecules for an alphabetical pressure listing called all the terms vapor pressure. Select the index equal to the pressure of the atmosphere. In some chemical reactions, such as this cracking process, high pressure and temperature are needed to keep the reaction going. In some cases, by using a catalyst, pressure and temperature can be lowered and the same results achieved. Crude oil is unrefined oil coming directly from the well. It varies greatly in quality from place to place. This salt water in the flask is changing to steam. The steam is changed back to water in the condenser. The salt that was in the water was left behind. This process can be used to remove dissolved solids from water and is called distillation. When a liquid evaporates, it means that some particles have enough energy to become vapor. A group of substances in a mixture of liquids that boil at the same temperature is called a fraction. Crude oil is separated into many fractions. A mixture of two or more liquids separates when boiled. The liquid with the lowest boiling point goes to the top. The liquid with the highest boiling point stays at the bottom. Separating a mixture of liquids this way is called fractional distillation. Hydrogen atoms and carbon atoms can combine in many ways to form hydrocarbons. Chemicals that come from living organisms contain carbon and are called organic. Synthetic chemicals that contain carbon are also called organic. Polymers consist of many small molecules called monomers. Monomers combine together in sheets, chains, or rings to form larger polymer molecules. Plastics are good examples of polymers. When a gas condenses into a liquid, the particles slow down and begin to cling together, forming droplets. This is called condensing. An atom is the smallest unit of an element. It is the basic building block of matter. No one has ever seen an atom structure. This is too small to see, even with sophisticated instruments. So we use models to describe how we think atoms work. Atoms contain a dense center, or nucleus, consisting of protons, which are positively charged, and neutrons, which have no charge. The nucleus is surrounded by a system of electrons equal to the number of protons. Because electrons travel extremely fast, it's difficult to predict where the electrons are at any moment. The regions where electrons are likely to be found are called orbitals. In this model, the regions look like clouds. These orbitals are also called electron clouds. An atom becomes stable when there are eight electrons in its outer orbital. The atom shown here is oxygen, which has only six electrons in its outer orbital. If it bonds with two hydrogen atoms, with only one electron each, it will then have eight electrons in its outer orbital and will be stable. The hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atoms share electrons. When these atoms share electrons, a molecule is formed. This molecule, called H2O, is grouped together with other molecules of H2O. H2O means there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom in each molecule. Together, these molecules make that ever-important substance, water.